It's first at 10, cutting through the confusion of a new cell phone plan. Now, most of us have been there at some point, but one local family is coming forward with a word of caution. The night team's David Douglas says... The story started with a big bill, David. A budget-breaking bill, Eric. You should know the family you're about to meet didn't even think their story was newsworthy. They just weren't sure where else to turn for help. But after hearing stories like theirs over and over again, we're on your side with how to prevent charges you were never expecting. I just want my bill to be what it's supposed to be, what they told me to begin with. When Cameron Veith got three new phones on a family plan from Verizon Wireless, he thought he was saving money until he got a bill for $282. When I called on it to say there's a, there's a problem, they told me, well, now you're, this month's is this one, 9-13-68. No, whoa. Verizon billed him for data usage, something he didn't bargain for, specifically turning down Internet-capable phones and the accompanying plan at purchase. And I thought, well, maybe I'll just get Blackberries. And then they told me, well, there's an um, Internet fee for that. So I said, oh, well, I don't want that. I, you know, if I need Internet, I'll use my computer. Veith's son, it turned out, played games on the phone. Mom Cassie says there was never a warning there'd be a price to pay for fun. Click games, and three games come up, and you start playing. It doesn't tell you that you're accessing the Internet and you're going to be charged. The biggest thing for most people that it's so overwhelming at the point of sale trying to go over all the different features and all the different things you can do with it. Verizon admits getting a new phone can come with confusion but the company says preventing unwanted data usage is easy through its website. You can actually go into your usage and change right from there. You can put blocks on it right there at that point and it'll stop immediately. A warning the V-Swish Verizon called their attention to in advance. This can't be the first time I talked to my friend. She said they paid two or three hundred dollars from their son going on. I should have been warned. Uh, by the way, this does go online. You have to be careful. Your son doesn't go online or play games. And the Veeths want to make clear this isn't a case of them not wanting to pay for services they used. They had no idea they were using them to begin with. In the past, they say they've paid large bills when their son sent too many text messages. Now, reps for Verizon tell us they are investigating the V situation and will work quickly with them towards resolution. A rep for Verizon did call them today and initiate that process. You really got to watch those texts these days. It's so popular. But other cell carriers, they've got services that you can get that block these services too, right? Yeah, and it really is just best, Eric, to ask right away because as technology improves, more and more features on phones might use these data services so you could end up getting charged without realizing you're using those services to begin with. All right. News 3's David Douglas reporting on your side tonight. David, thank you.